Hello, this is Mark Downey, and I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the core function in SOLIDWORKS to create a mold core. Mold cores are needed to create geometry in a part when features are perpendicular to the direction of pull of the mold. Here's an example of a part that is designed to be molded with a logo on the side of the part. Let's go through the steps of creating the mold halves and the associated side core. The first step is to create the parting line. This is done by selecting a plane that is normal to the direction of pull. In this case, that is the top plane. The top plane selected, we'll click on parting lines. We use a one degree draft to do the draft analysis. The parting line edges are automatically selected and the parting line is created. Next, we will create the parting surface by selecting the parting line feature and clicking on parting surfaces. We'll set the parting surface distance to two and a half inches and that creates the parting surface perpendicular to the pull. To create the tooling split, we need a rectangle that represents the boundary of the mold plates. I'll start a sketch on the top plane, sketch a center point rectangle that is nine inches long and seven inches wide. We'll exit that sketch. I'll pre-select that sketch in the feature tree. Click on tooling split. We'll set the block size to two inches in the upwards direction and one inch in the lower direction. And that creates the mold halves. Now that we have the cavity in the core of the mold, we need to create the side core that will form the logo. I'll begin by isolating the upper half of the mold so that we can focus on the logo. We need to create a sketch that defines the shape of the side core. So we'll start a sketch on the inside surface of the mold. We'll sketch a corner rectangle. We need the sides to be tapered for the mold action to work correctly. So we'll remove the vertical relationships on these two sides. That way we can change the sides of these. I want the bottom edge to be collinear with the outside edge of the mold. And we want a couple of fillets on the outside corners. And we want to make sure that the sketch fully encompasses the shape of the logo. Let's go ahead and fully define our sketch by adding a dimension to the width. And let's set the center point for this to be on this edge. That looks pretty good. The only thing left is to define an angle for the sides. So we'll define an angle by clicking on the edge. We'll click on this vertex and use the edge here to define an angle. It's up to 15 degrees. We've got a fully defined sketch. Now that our sketch is fully defined, I'll exit the sketch. By pre-selecting the sketch in the feature tree, I can click on core. I need to define the extraction direction. In this case, I want it to be the front plane of the mold. The in condition, first in condition is going to be through all and we'll leave the second in condition to be blind. Exit isolate and that creates the core. We'll isolate the core just to see it. Take a look at that. The core has got the logo in it. That automatically also creates a cut in that plate for the core as well. So what if we have a part that doesn't have a smooth surface, like this part here? In this case, we created the sketch on the front plane of the part and was able to use that geometry to create the core for the part that's got 
curvy surfaces. And that is how you use the core function in SOLIDWORKS mold tools. This is Mark Downey with Go Engineer.